hello and welcome back to the channel and in today's video we're continuing our recipe app in the last video we looked at how to build this layout you see over here and in this video we'll be looking at how to build a seymour page for the recipes we we'll also look at how to show the number of recipes remaining when we have more than three recipes bookmarked and also to navigate to the recipe details page when we click on any of these cards now let's get right into it so starting on the favorite page Page. the first thing i want us to do is to refactor this block of code so we have from line 40 here to maybe line 120 it's all about this card so the beef seymour and the three cards we have over here i want us to move everything over here to its own file so what i'm going to do is collapse this and then copy starting from the pattern everything we have over here create a new directory under the favorite directory so new for Order and then call it widget now within this directory we are going to create a new file and call it favorite recipe card dot that and this is going to be a stateless widget so stateless widget and then we are going to call it favorite recipes card and let's paste what we just copied we have a lot of errors over here now the first thing we need is to pass the data we are using on this card so we need the list of recipes as well as the category name so i'm going to create these two fields now we need to require these fields so require these the category and the recipes as well now let's fix the missing import and then also the team access so create a variable for our team which is going to be team dot of context and now we can import the missing packages or so spinner like that and now we are done so let's use this favorite recipe card on the favorite page i'm going to remove everything we have over here and then put favorite recipe card and we need to pass in the category and the recipes which we already have and when I save nothing changes because it's the same code I mean, the next thing we want to do is to show the number of recipes on this card when we have more than three recipes so what i mean is if you look at the final version of this app when we have more than three recipes in this case we have four we show the number of recipes we have on top of the last card so this shows plus one recipes and that's what we want to look at so let's go back to what we are working on now on the favorite recipe card card section let's go to where we have the bottom part of the card which is this part and it's just a flexible widget with a card and then an image now what we want to do is we want to have a stack widget so stack widget we want to put the number of recipes we have on top of the last card when the recipes bookmark is more than three now if it sounds a bit confusing don't worry it's going to make sense very soon so this card is going to be wrapped in a stack widget now we know stack takes children instead of child so i'm going to cut this and then replace it with children now when i do something like this nothing really changes because we have just a stack with one child now what this stack allows allows us to do is we can position other children on top of the card which is the first child we have over here so how do we do that first we want to position a container so i'm going to put a container here and then maybe put a child with a text here say on top now when i see we can see on top here if you cannot see it i am going to make it a bit visible for you so let's add some style team the text team title large and then maybe change the color to white so we can see on top over here now it might still not be visible because it's at the top left which is the default location when you are in a stack so let's try to change one or two things let's first add text alignment of center now that doesn't fix anything for now but then we can change the alignment of the child within the container so we want to change the alignment of this whole text widget which we can do by using the alignment property within the container and setting it to alignment the center now we realize that the on top has moved to the center of the card but we have one problem the problem we have is that it's not visible right so we need some kind of background a black background behind the text so that it will make the text more readable now, in order to achieve that we are going to use uh, maybe color right from decoration to so decoration and then we are looking at shape decoration the reason why i want shape decoration is because we want the shape of the background to fit exactly the shape of the card and we can't use box decoration when we use box decoration the shape it provides us would be a box shape which doesn't support continuous rectangle 
vector shape so we need to use shape decoration instead of box decoration and this one we are going to pass in a continuous rectangle border which is the shape that the cards use now the next thing we have to do is to apply a color i'm going to use colors the black and black 45 so when i do this I realize we have some kind of a background behind the text so on top and the background goes outside the card so as we can see it's moving outside the card now in order to fix that we can set the card in a way that nothing goes outside of it which is the whole stack but let's not go there first let's fix the shape for this background because at the moment it is sharp and want to be rounded like the card itself so i'm going to pass in the border radius and then set the border radius to a value of maybe 20 so it also looks rounded like this now in order to fix the overflow i'm going to wrap this container in a position widget and i'm going to set the position top before left to also before let's also set right to before bottom to before now when we do this this is going to move the container away four from the top four from the left four from the right four from the bottom and by moving it four 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 away we are going to get a container that is as small or as equal as the card itself now there are so many ways you can achieve this but this is one way i was able to achieve this type of design which i wanted now the next thing we'll be looking at is showing this layer which is the number of cards we have only when there are more than three recipes for that category so if we have just three recipes there is no need showing this layer on top of the last card so we are going to render this conditionally and we are going to do that using an if statement you can use uh, maybe visibility widgets whatsoever you want so i'm going to do something like if recipes dot length is greater than three which means we have more than three recipes then we want to show the overlay by the moment none of these categories has more than three recipes so we don't see it we can go to beef go home and beef um if we are fortunate we might see some related to beef here so this then let's add it to our favorite now we can see the on top text written for only the beef because the beef category has more than three recipes added and we don't want to show on top but rather want to show the number of recipes we have so let's write plus the number of recipes minus three because that is the recipes we are showing but then we want to subtract three from it and then we will left with how many recipes we are not showing so backslash n recipes because i want this text to move to the new line so this shows that there are four recipes in total because we have three here and then we have one next we have one that we are not showing the next thing i want us to look at is how to navigate to the recipe details page when we tap any of these cards so the two cards and when we tap on this card if we have more than three recipes then i want to go to the see more page which will list all the recipes we have and if we don't have more than three recipes then we want to move to the recipe details page of the recipe we tapped on now if this doesn't make sense just wait a bit and you understand what i mean so when we tap on the first card which is this card over here what do we want to do we want to go to the details page of that recipe so we are first going to wrap this in a gesture detector and when we tap on it so on tap we want to navigate to the recipe details page and pass in the first recipe we just tapped on so we are going to navigate with navigator dot push and the route is going to be material page route and we are looking at recipe details page and we need to pass in the recipe we just tapped on which is going to be recipes dot first because that's the first recipe in this list or on the card when i click on this recipe at the moment it should take me to the recipe details page which works when we tap on the second recipe or the second card we want to go to its respective recipe details page now this is going to be a little bit tricky because of how we've set everything up if we tap on the second card but then we have just one recipe then we don't have to go to the second recipe details page but we have to still go to the first recipe details page because it's just the images that have changed and not necessarily the actual content so how do we do that we have to wrap uh, the second card so this card as well in the gesture detector widget and when we tap on this we want to get the recipe we tapped on so how do we get the recipe we tapped on this is the same logic we have over here so we create a variable to represent the recipe we are tapping on and then we ask ourselves 
ourselves do we have more than one recipe if that is the case then it means that we want to go to the second recipe in the list because there's a second card so that should take us to the second recipe in the list else if we don't have more than one recipe then it means we have a single recipe so let's assess that single recipe by doing recipes dot first so this is going to give us the recipe we are tapping on then again we can navigate to the recipe details page so we can copy this paste it here and this now around instead of passing recipes dot first we are going to pass in the recipe that we had from this check and it's going to be the same logic for the third one as well so the last card which is the stack let's wrap this card in the gesture detector widget and when we tap on it we want to check if we have more than two recipes so if we have more than two recipes if recipes dot length is greater than two which means you have more than two recipes then we want to access the third item else we want to access the first item because if we don't have more than two what we normally do is we put the first image there so let's access the first item and this time around let's also push to a new page so i'm going to copy the same push logic and then pass in the recipe now finally when we have the plus one recipes more what we want to do is we want to go to the see more page so we want to go to a page that shows all the recipes under that category the same as present this see more but we don't have that see more page already designed so let's create that page and under pages over here i'm going to create a new file and call it see more favorite recipes dot that and this is going to be a stateless widget and we can return a scaffold so scaffold now what do we need on this page we need the name of the category so final string category we also need the list of recipes so these are going to be complete recipes like this and let's require all these fields now we can show the name of the category in the app bar so text and maybe show the name which is category here now on the favorite recipe card page if recipes dot length is greater than three then we are going to have this overlay on top of the card now because this overlay is on top of the card when we click on the card we are not going to pass the gesture on top to the actual card because of the overlay so let's wrap another gesture detector around this container that will only be called when the overlay is on top of the card so when we have overlay on top of the card we want to go to the see more favorite recipes page so we want to push material page route and then we are looking for see more favorite recipes page now we need to pass in our recipes and category and these things are filled for us automatically because they are the same fields that we require on this um, widget now let's try clicking on this which is the plus one recipes here and that takes us to a page where we see beef written over there which is the see more recipes page if we click on this that takes us to the individual details page of that recipe like this as well and it's going to work the same way for all the cards now let's link the see more button to the see more recipes on page so when we click on see more on press we want to navigate to the see more favorite page as well so i'm going to copy this and then paste it here like that now we click on see more that is going to take us to a page where we are supposed to see more about that particular category so let's build that see more page now this is going to look just like any other grid view page we've worked on in this series so we are going to have in the body a grid view builder so body grid view builder and the grid delegate is going to be um sliver grid delegates with max cross axis extent and i've explained this several times so if you don't understand i recommend watching the previous videos now we need main axis spacing which is going to be 10 cross axis spacing is going to be 10 that is how much space we want between uh, the cards on the main axis and cross axis item builder this is where we build the actual ui and we are going to retain a recipe card the recipe card we need to pass in the name image url and on top now then recipe we are looking at is going to be set to recipes which is what we just required over here so recipes and then we are accessing that particular index so from this recipe we can pass recipe.name recipe.image 
unit url as well as maybe an untap function and we need to make sure that we have an error at the moment because we are not passing the item count so item count is going to recipes dot length now it seems we have a little bit of issue over here um because there are three items on this so we need to add some pattern on this page and give it a value of 16 and that should look good when we tap on this we want to navigate to the recipe details page when we tap on any of this so import and now when we tap on any of these cards you take us to the individual page now that is going to be all for the favorite page let's try removing an item for our favorite so remove and then it's no longer there come here remove and we no longer have that category that is going to be all for the favorite page now in the next video we will look at how to implement search for recipes functionality where you can actually come here and then type a keyword and we will load a list of recipes associated with that keyword if you're interested in seeing that section or you don't understand anything about this video please leave a comment down there and i'll attend to you thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one